everyone to Juno Suede Official. We're going to react to a video. This video um, is quite interesting. What was found inside Hitler's last wheel? I did not even know that Hitler had a wheel. Of course, please guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want me to react to a video, leave a comment down below, okay? We're going to check out this one. Let's go ahead. So let's Hitler see. was an incredibly rich man when he wrote his last will and testament hmm. in the bunker where he would take his life. He had amassed a four But Hitler took his own life? I'm quite sure I watched a movie and he did not take his life and he was, you know, you know, terminated through other means. Nonetheless, from the sales of Mein Kampf, business deals and private investments. Um, I'm quite sure there's more than just the business part of it. I'm quite sure it's more than just sales, business and private investments. I'm quite sure taking from certain people must have been one of them. Don't, uh, let's continue though. But who got Hitler's money after his death? Hmm. What else was in his will? And could there be a massive fortune hidden away somewhere waiting to be found? Up to this day, maybe. I think so, yeah. Nazi Germany fell during the end of World War II. Hitler committed suicide and transferred his power to other members of the Nazi regime. How can you commit suicide and transfer your power? I think if you commit suicide, you lose all power as far as I'm concerned. Your will, everything should just be thrown away. Because you basically terminate your own life. I don't think you should have that ability to have any say what happens after. But before he did this, he wrote a will. Oh. There were three copies of the will distributed. And all that might have been lost to time if not had been for a British intelligence officer named Hermann Rothman. He was deployed to Germany to interrogate high-level Nazi officials for information. While on assignment, he spotted a suspicious man dressed in civilian clothing. Hmm. Rothman decided something didn't seem right. Something smelled funny. And that the man warranted further investigation. He discovered the German man was carrying falsified documents. Ooh. It turned out the imposter was Heinz Lorenz. Lorenz was the press secretary for Joseph Goebbels, the man who was made chancellor of Nazi Germany by Hitler just before he committed suicide. Hmm. Sewn into one of the seams of Lorenz's jacket were three documents. They were a final political statement written by Hitler himself, oh. a document written by Goebbels, uh -huh. and Hitler's will. Ooh, Hitler's will. Well, let's see what's in that will. As you might expect, the political statement was wildly racist against the Jewish people. Ooh. Hitler blamed them for his own shortcomings and for causing Nazi Germany to lose the war, thus reinforcing what a lunatic Hitler was. Oh, God. But what was in his will? What was in his will? Let's hear it. Tell us. His fortune. Uh -huh. The first thing Hitler talks about in his will is his new wife, Eva Braun. Up until right before their... Wait, Hitler had children? Like, did he have children? ...suicide, Eva and Adolf were not yet married. Eva was the aide to Hitler's official photographer. They first met during a photo shoot at the Fuhrer. Hitler and Braun developed a relationship and when opportunities presented themselves, spent time alone together. Hitler explained in his will that he was too busy to marry and that was why they did it right before their deaths. Right before their so <laughs> scholars have their own theories about why Hitler waited so long to marry Braun, but according to Hitler, I think he waited so long because um, he did not really want to have that um, he wanted to have that that attitude of nothing to lose kind of thing so he didn't maybe he don't have children if he do not have any children i'm not surprised because he would not he would want to keep that i have nothing to lose mentality maybe going on think of it will at the end of april 1945 the two were joined in matrimony mm. hitler goes on to declare that eva braun made the decision under her own free will to commit suicide with him ah! whether this is true or not we'll never know but in his will hitler claims this to be the case in the next part of his will hitler discusses what will happen to his belongings and money he states that everything he possesses and has any value should be given to the nazi party however hitler writes it in a way that seems as if he doesn't own much of anything <laughs> That's maybe a question. This is far from the truth, as he had amassed a fortune from the sales of Mein Kampf. As well. What is Mein Kampf? Just now, just now. Let me let me go back. We will come back at two twenty-five. Let me quickly find out what is Mein Kampf because they mentioned it at the beginning. Mein. Let me see what is Mein Kampf, um, guys. They did mention it at the beginning, right? Mein Kampf. What's that? What the heck is Mein Kampf? Hmm. What, what, what it's uh, what just uh, what just uh, I'm going to ask Google what is uh mine KMPF so my god uh, oh autobiography oh okay I thought it was like some natural mineral or something okay 
Uh, yes, let's continue. This is far from the truth, as he had amassed a fortune from the sales of Mein Kampf, as well as through royalties on images of himself and business deals. Hmm. Hitler continues by saying that if the Nazi party does not survive, that his belongings should be given to the state. And if the state does not survive, then all is lost and his wishes are no longer necessary. Ooh. Hitler does not make specific arrangements for his paintings and pictures, which he had collected over the years. They were to be given to Linz, Austria, the town in which he grew up. Ooh. There he also wanted the art to be displayed in a gallery for the public. And I wonder how much was his net worth though at the time. That's that's an important a question. Collection. It's in the next part of the will that Hitler mentions his money, yet he still does not acknowledge the massive sum he's accumulated over the course of his rise to power. Hitler gives Martin Bormann, his private secretary and Nazi official, full legal authority to make decisions based on his will. Hitler states that everything of sentimental value and the funds necessary for a modest life should be given to his brothers and sisters. Ooh. However, it would seem his own How many? family was not quite as important as someone else. Hitler goes on to say that, above all, Eva Braun's mother should be taken care of. He was more intentional in including her directly in his will than his own family. This seems odd, but then again, Hitler was an odd man. A very odd man. Unpredictable man Hitler was. He also put in his will that of all his faithful co-workers, particularly his secretary Frau Winter, should be looked after as well. There is no specific wow. number or amount of money. So it goes to show that he still had, I had to say, but he had some kind of compassion for a human being. Just that he, he did not like um, you know, certain race of people, but... Each should receive, which means... Like everything, like they're human beings, a human being can be the most loving and hateful person ever. ...to the discretion of Bormann. However, we know that Hitler's fortune was massive, so if his last will and testament was followed, there was a hefty sum of money that could have been distributed among the parties described in the will. Huh. Hitler concludes his will by saying that he and his now wife, Eva Braun, would rather escape disgrace by choosing death over being captured. Huh. He also included that once he took Eva's life and then his own, their bodies... But then once he took Eva's life? Or what? ...be immediately burned. He signed the will given in Berlin, 29th of April, 1945, 4 a.m., a. Hitler. Below his name, the three witnesses of the will are signed as well. They were Dr. Joseph Goebbels, Martin Bormann, and Colonel Nicholas von Bello. Wow. It was not a very long will and did not contain many specifics, but it did give us a glimpse into what would happen to Hitler's belongings once he took his own life. However, this begs the question, what really happened yeah, what to, happened to all of us? money? All of the surprising thing is, we aren't entirely sure. We know for a fact that Mein Kampf made Hitler very rich. By the time of his death in 1945, so now we can see Mein Kampf is like a book, yeah. Sold about eight million copies. Oh gosh! And had been translated into 16 languages. It was estimated that Hitler earned around one million dollars per year in royalties. Some of this money was used to buy his Alpine retreat, named the Berghof, which was located near the town of Berchtesgaden in Germany. Hmm. This was not a cheap estate, so I Hitler must have spent a significant so. amount of money on it. He also felt he had enough money that once he became Fuhrer, he forewent the salary associated with the position. In Mein Kampf and other writings, Hitler talked about his earlier life in poverty and hardship. He was a struggling artist in Vienna before fighting in World War I and the publication of his influential book. He talked about how he overcame all odds to succeed and made enough money to live comfortably. Once he had money, it was reported that he spent millions on gifts and payments to buy the loyalty of politicians and businessmen. The payments would allow him to be able to call in favors and make others dependent hmm. on him. Obviously, this would not have been so like more than the politicians. possible without a massive sum of money. Once he became Fuhrer, Hitler no longer thought of there being a divide between his personal money and that of the Nazi party. He would use funds from both his own wealth and the state to buy property, art, and make business deals. Wow. It's also well established that before becoming the Fuhrer, Hitler was a tax evader. He was in debt through back taxes until he rose to power. And once in power, the money continued to flow into oh, his gosh, business. crazy. Big businesses would make huge contributions to his efforts so they could secure military and infrastructure contracts. Hmm. It's estimated that from ha huh. contracts time he started as chancellor until his suicide in 1945, Hitler received over three billion dollars in corporate payments. Oh my gosh! So what happened to all of Hitler's money? So is basically, Hitler died a billionaire. That was that's what we are establishing here, huh? Wow. In the world waiting to be discovered. In his will, Hitler says he wanted all his property and wealth to go to the Nazi party. However, we know that the Nazis were defeated. Yeah, and they, they, the will defaults to the next beneficiary, the which was the state. In a way, the state did get much of Hitler's wealth. At the end of the war, the Allies gave the copyrights of Mein Kampf to the Bavarian government. There was still a lot of potential money that could have been brought in by owning the copyrights to the book. Wow. If the government banned any reprinting of the work in Germany, and therefore those funds stopped coming in, hmm. both Hitler's Berghof estate in the Alps and his apartment in Munich 
were also given to Bavaria. So it would seem that a lot of Hitler's assets did actually go to the state but, to yeah. in his will. However, so. most of this was in the form of physical and intellectual property. What happened to the expensive art collections and actual money? Buried somewhere? Accounts of Hitler's house in the Alps being bombed by Allied forces oh, shit. and then looted by the soldiers. It's so that means some random family might have that um, at work, those who read it, and then some of them was consumed and turned to ash, and now it's part of our fossil fuel as it decomposes in the earth that much of the artwork that Hitler had collected was stolen during this time. Huh. We also don't know exactly what was in Hitler's house when it was raided. We know the Nazis liked to create secret passages and bunkers. If there were such secrets within Berghof, perhaps... So what is that, that place where his home was right now? What is there? That's the question. Maybe there's some deep underground tunnel. Soldiers who found them were able to get away with the money and other valuables. In 1952, what remained of Hitler's Berghof house was blown up by the Bavarian government to keep it from attracting tourists and people who might have still shared Hitler's ideologies. Oh boy. With the destruction of the house, anything that might have been hidden within would have been lost. Hitler's apartment in Munich is still there, but it's been converted to a police <coughs> station instead of a residence. Oh, nice. so it would seem that the Bavarian government did in fact receive some of Hitler's possessions as per his will. However, when trying to follow the actual money and where it went, Hacked things become me. a bit unclear. Yeah. Since his fortune was so intertwined with the money of the Nazi party, it's possible that much of his wealth was spent on the war effort at the end of World War II. That being said, it yeah, is he may put a lot of money into it, I can well imagine so. Because he was desperate to win. Some of the money and valuables that once belonged to Hitler were smuggled out of Nazi Germany by deserters and officers trying to escape Allied forces. Yes, it's possible. However, we may never know how much of Hitler's fortune was disseminated this way. Hitler knew he would lose World War II, and rather than being tried for his crimes, decided to take his own life and that of his brand new bride. Hmm. Just before he committed suicide, Hitler did write a will, and in it he laid out what to do with his possessions. But he was somewhat vague about the extent of his actual wealth in the document. It would seem that most of what Hitler owned went to the Bavarian state. Maybe he did not even know. He did not keep track of his wealth, per se, because he thought he had it all. You know, However, his there was no way to determine, hey, I have like 50 billion dollars there, I have 10 million dollars there, because it was just, he just felt like everything was his own, perhaps. It's not completely accounted for. Perhaps some of Hitler's money and valuables are still out there waiting to be discovered. Or perhaps everything he had and owned was lost or plundered during the war that he started. Could be. Okay, guys, so that was it. Um, very interesting video, of course. Um, as I said, I, I think he had a lot of wealth and he had so much that he and he thought that he had so much power plus the wealth that he did not actually keep track of it. He just knew he had a lot. And it might have been difficult to say in his will, um, I have such and such in this bank, I have such and such here uh, for this value. You know, it might have been difficult. But nonetheless, I'm shocked to find out that Hitler actually had a will and wrote a will. Um, I am quite sure Hitler was terminated through other means I that's what I'm quite sure I read I watched a documentary of this that he was terminated for the means I didn't know he could commit suicide hmm that's interesting nonetheless thank you for requesting don't forget to subscribe like and share if you want me to react leave a comment down below okay thank you bye guys